Oh wow, Katie appeared. And today for you, it's my Christmas haul of 2019. Woo! But before we start, Happy New Year everybody! It's 2020! Yikes, I can't believe it's 2020. It sounds so futuristic and yet here we are. But um, yeah, so obviously I've been away for a few weeks because I was away in Portugal for holiday and I didn't have enough time to make videos obviously before I left. So yeah, so my first video of 2019 will be this haul. So I got a few things this year and got them all here in this nice little Spider-Man bag. And yeah, so obviously got some uh, gifts from friends and family. Obviously got myself a few things while I was out in Portugal, so I counted it in obviously the haul as well. Since obviously I got some money for Christmas as well. So yeah, so let's dive in, shall we? All right, now first off, I'm gonna show you is these headphones. Yes, I got these headphones from my mom um, because my cat ones that I had broke, which was really annoying. So I had to get new head, I had to get new headphones. Now I'm talking about, you know, like those light up cat ear like headphones you see? Yeah, don't buy them. They may look cute, but they easily break because that was like my second pair of like those cat eared ones. I think your best bet is probably getting the gamer headset that has the cat ears maybe, I don't know. But I got these instead since obviously I do like my Pokemon and I do like Pikachu. So obviously we got Pikachu there, Pikachu there and like little silhouettes of Pikachu here. And I can see that there's some Japanese writing underneath um, Pikachu. I'm guessing it's probably Pikachu in Japanese. I don't know, these are official licensed headphones, so you would hope so, that's probably what it says in Japanese. If someone knows what this translation is, let me know, because I think it is Pikachu, or maybe it's Pokemon, I don't know, but anyways, yes. So, these are quite nice, and I don't think these are gonna break, they seem very, like, sturdy from my last pair, so yeah, there's my headphones. Next up, I got this gift from my cousin, she's technically not my cousin, but the way our family is, she practically should just be. But she got me this, which is, if you've seen the movie Mean Girls, you should know what this is, which is the burn book in the movie. If you haven't seen it, I won't say anything, but if you haven't, like, really, you need to go see it. But what this is, it's not a book. It's actually a stationery set, as you can see here. So we've got some little sticky notes here. Uh, we've got a to-do list. And of course, I love how it says on here, on Wednesdays, we wear pink. Um, but yeah, it's really cute and I like, always oh, really do like my stationery stuff and I'm actually glad that, you know, they're starting to do a lot more like Mean Girls like stuff because I think you can get this in Primark, I think. Yeah, because it says Primark somewhere, I'm not sure. I think this is where she got it. So yeah, and I've went into Primark and saw a bunch of other merch of Mean Girls stuff. But yeah, it's really cute and I love it. And again, if you've not seen Mean Girls, what's wrong with you? But yeah, alright. All right, next up, what I got is another present from my mom, and that is a Harry Potter uh, power bank, because I've been needing one of these, because my phone dies constantly. I have an iPhone, I think you can gather, but yeah. So my mom got me this Harry Potter one. It's just a simple, like, sort of um, burgundy, I think that's what you call this color, and obviously the Hogwarts crest. And yeah, it's been super handy because again, my phone dies on me all the time. So it's good to have this around when I'm out and about. And because I know most of my friends don't actually have iPhones. So when I ask for a charger, it won't fit mine. So this is great. So yes, that's a little power bank. All right, next up are these pajamas that uh, my godmother gave me. And this is this is Harry Potter pajamas because she knows I love Harry Potter so obviously she got me these so obviously it is don't let the muggles get you down which I actually have that on a t-shirt as well so it's really cute and I really like the color of it it's again it's again it's more like that burgundy color again which I think is meant to be more Gryffindor I don't know but I'm a buff but it's still cute but yeah and obviously they come with these trousers which obviously just have simple stars on them so yeah it's really good i have a lot of harry potter pajamas but i ain't mad i love them speaking of something that's harry potter related 
I also got these slippers from my mom, which is basically these Harry Potter slippers. These did not come from Primark. These came from a shop in Portugal called Women's Secret. I'm actually not sure if Women's Secret is in the UK. I've never seen one, but um, these are really cute. I really like the design, sort of a blue, which blue is my favorite color, so I'm quite happy with that. And it's also got some like gold glitter stuff on it with like some patterns. So we have the Golden Snitch, Harry Potter's glasses, I'm not sure, it looks like a sort of bow tie kind of thing, I'm not sure. Obviously, the little magical keys, the Deathly Hollows, and just some stars. And, whew, I'm glad my mum got me these kind of slippers because, like, normal slippers that are normally, like, flip-flop things always fall off my feet, but I think that's because my feet are really small. So I'm glad with these ones because, at least the boot ones, I don't have to worry about them falling off, and I did need a good pair of slippers. So, thank you, mum. Alright, this present is from my dad. Now this present comes with a little story, but I'll show you off anyways. Here is Grokey from obviously Pokemon Sword and Shield as one of the starters. Now I will let you know, I did not pick Grokey as my starter. I picked Score Bunny. But the thing is, see my dad, he went into like the game shop and he went up to the guy and asked which one of the three in the shop was the unpopular one. And the way the guy described it as obviously Score Bunny is the most popular one, obviously. Scrabble, people feel sorry for it, accurate. And unfortunately, Grokey seems to be the unpopular one, which is sad, because he is kind of cute and stuff. And yeah, so my dad decided to get this one. I'm not sure why, he just, that's the way my dad is at times. But I'm still not gonna complain, it's Pokemon plushy. I like anything Pokemon because hello, I'm the Wild Kitty appeared. So yeah, although it makes me kind of just want to get Score Bunny and then get Squab Squabble just so that I can have this as a set because it's just me, but yeah. But yeah, he's really cute and I still need to take his label off, but yeah. So there is Grokey. Okay, so the next present is technically for my granny because she gave me money to spend and I decided to spend that money on this, which is a Spider-Man t-shirt because I realized as a Spider-Man fan, I don't really have that much um, Spider-Man merch, which really, really upsets me. But I finally got a t-shirt and obviously it says Spider-Man to the rescue, which is super cute. And I absolutely love this. And again, it's in my favorite color of t-shirt blue and it was also on sale, so win-win. So yeah, speaking of Spider-Man, I got myself this as well, which is obviously, as you can see, a Spider-Man travel kind of mug thing because I always like to take coffee with me when I go to work. I do have a Doctor Who one which I showed you off in another haul of mine. I think that was last Christmas or two Christmas before. I can't remember. Anywho. Um, yeah, so I thought I'd get myself another one because they're always good in case I need to clean the other one and I need coffee right away. So yeah. And again, it's to add more Spider-Man merch because I'm desperately needing it. I basically combine my two favorite things, Spider-Man and coffee. So yeah, it's pretty good. It's one of these sort of one set. Do that, so pretty good. And it's a bit bigger than my other one, so at least I get a little more coffee. So yeah, it's a really nice design. It's pretty much just Spider-Man's mask and the little logo here that says The Amazing Spider-Man. All right, next up is a little item that I got myself, and that is these, um, this headband that I got, which I think is really cute. And the reason why I got this was basically because it was really giving me some Sailor Moon vibes and if you've been on this channel you should know that I do like my Sailor Moon. So yeah, I kind of think I'd either just use this as sort of wearing for an outfit that's kind of inspired um, Sailor Moon or a casual Usagi cosplay, we'll see. But I'm going to continue wearing this for the rest of the video because I think it's cute. Anywho, um, so next up is this PlayStation 1 notebook. Now, I got this for a reason, and it's got something to do with my YouTube channel. Now, this is a video thing that I'm going to do on another day that I'm gonna see if I can do because it looks something interesting to do and I really want, it's been something I've been wanting to do for ages, and it is something that requires taking notes. Maybe you know what it is, but yes. I got this specific one because the PlayStation 1 was my first, um, like, console. This is not a hint to what the series will be, but 
I just had to get it. So inside, obviously, we've got all like the little, I don't know if you can see it, but the uh, buttons that you always see on the controllers, you know, the triangle, X, square, circle, etc. And then when you actually go into the notes, they have the symbols there as well. And I got this from Primark because they're also doing some PlayStation um, stuff as well. So I just had to get that because I really needed a new notebook for the series. Even though technically I could have used any other notebooks that I have because I do have many of them. I thought, feck it, I'm going to get a new one just for the series. So I don't know if it will be up before this video or after. I'm still trying to work that out. But if you've seen it, let me know what you think. But anyways, let's get on to it. Speaking of PlayStation, I also got something PlayStation themed from Primarco again, and that is this t-shirt, which is obviously the PlayStation logo from the PlayStation 1 and obviously all that. And yeah, again, I am a PlayStation fangirl and I've been using PlayStation since I was seven years old, since my first console was a PlayStation 1, and I also now have a PlayStation 2, PlayStation 3, and PlayStation 4, and probably will get the PlayStation 5 when that comes out. But yeah. But I mean, I do have other consoles. I do have my Switch, and I did have a GameCube growing up, and that's like my favorite console I had growing up. But that's beside the point. I'm still PlayStation girl at heart. But anywho, yes. All right. Now, we are on to the last item, and this is a Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild little keychain. Now I got this when I got back home actually, not in Portugal, and I just had to get it because I love the, the artwork on this one. With just like looking into the sunset, I think it's just freaking beautiful. And just like the Breath of the Wild stuff is just like, oh, that, that game is pretty. That game is freaking pretty and I just love it so much. I'm super excited for Breath of the Wild 2. We still don't got much information on that, but I'm sure maybe E3 will give us more stuff. But yeah, I know I have a lot of keychains on my keys, but I thought I needed to add an extra. And at the back, you can see that there is obviously the title card, which obviously says Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. So yeah, I felt like I needed to get this. I got this from Forbidden Planet in Glasgow, the new one that's in Sunny Hall Street. So yeah, now there was another present that I got um, before I actually left for Portugal from my friend Debs, who you will know as Danger Debs, but the present is somewhere in a box, in a moving box, and I'm not sure which one. I'm afraid it might have accidentally went into storage, but hopefully it's somewhere. I still haven't unpacked a lot since obviously I moved and then went to Portugal, but that happened. But um, yeah, but what it was, it was basically, it was the t-shirt that Harley Quinn wears in the Suicide Squad because Debs knows I'm a big fan of Harley Quinn. And even though Suicide Squad was the worst movie I've ever seen in my life, um, they, they nailed Harley. Like the actress who plays her, her name is escaping right now, I feel like she is a really good Harley and I cannot wait for Birds of Prey. That is going to be amazing. So yeah. That is all the presents that I got for Christmas. Tell me down below, what did you get for Christmas? What was your favorite item that I showed off? And I hope you guys had a good New Year's and I hope 2020 will be a good year. For me, 2020 is gonna be an interesting year, especially for my YouTube channel. Anyways guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Remember to like and subscribe for more fashion content and you can shake a stick at. 